In this instructional video, it happened from time to time, we have this Dyson DC-14 telescopic reach which is not picking up very well. So let's have a look at how we fix that on a 14 and most other Dyson's uprise, especially with clutches. So this video will cover DC-03, 4, 7, 14 and 33. Let me show you how we fix it. And see if it is that problem. I'm fairly sure it is. Find out. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums and hello to all the strangers who have probably stumbled across this video in a frantic bid to work out why their Dyson isn't picking up properly. That's why there's a slightly clickbait title. I do these from time to time because they seem to go down quite well. So yes, this cot dropped off yesterday after a little Facebook message saying it doesn't pick up at all. He said that the suction from the wand is fine. Which it is, no problem with the suction from the one. She's had the filters out and cleaned them, which she has. So nothing wrong with the filter there at all. The one down here would be fire cough. Try and say the full refurb maybe. That's all right, so yeah, there is nothing wrong with this machine. The first thing I thought of is, oh, does the brush bar rotate? And it doesn't and that is the key with upright vacuum cleaners in general it's even ones with 1400 watt motors such as this the brush roll needs to rotate so if i have you up here and turn it on it's trying bless it but that is not rotating, and that is what we're going to have a look at now. So let me bring you down, and we'll have it apart and see if we can spot the problem. Here we go then. Now the first thing I recommend is taking off the cyclone, simply because it stops the machine from flopping about on the floor. Ah, there we go. Then you need a coin or a fairly stout flat blade screwdriver to turn the locking tab and pop off that bit there. Now we can see the brush roller and it does turn, which is a little bit annoying. One way to test this is to stand behind the machine for safety reasons obviously and just turn it on quickly and see if it spins there. It doesn't, which seems to me to be a clutch related problem so we need to take off the clutch now i cheat because i have somewhere ah, down the bottom of the toolbox a dyson clutch removal tool very very cheap and obviously if you do need a new clutch you're probably going to buy one and i'll be honest if you go to a company called manchester max they'll send you the clutch and the tool for a fairly good price anyway so, or you can fiddle about with screwdrivers, basically you need to lift up the belt and take out the brush roll. Now, there's nothing wrong with this brush roll, it spins, Ah, they always get clagged up with fluff in the knee, so while your brush rolls out, clear all that out because that stops it from moving properly, same with things like that, look, get all that out, give it a little service, if your brush roll is a bit stiff, you can pull out the bearing, pop off the little black cap with a fine screwdriver or knife blade or similar and fill it full of grease. But there we go, that's fine, there's nothing really wrong with that at all. Pop that to one side. Now we need to remove this part here. And the way to do that is to pull that hose off and then with your screwdriver, very, very carefully prise off the inner brush roll housing. Now this pipe can split, 
can tear. Also, if you're, if it doesn't, it's also the spring that holds it to the floor. So if that is looking pretty terrible, the best thing to do is to replace it again. Pennies. Now we shall take off the clutch cover, which is just a case of literally popping it off, and eventually the two tabs either side that hold it on will just come off. Now, have the machine in the upright mode, take off the blockage U-bend port and you will need a Torx screwdriver which I have here I think it's a T15 Torx but it needs to be quite long he says I have my long one here but I've also got this one which is the cheaper one that you can buy and it will just about reach you need to take off this black cover and to take off this black cover you undo so you need about 10 centimeter long screwdriver or more to take off this cover so there's one screw and then these two are here they're nice and simple they just come off this whole plate lifts off and there we have it, that is the clutch cover itself. I just dropped one of the screws. Oh no, I didn't it's still in there. Now we can have a look at what is going on here. Because there's two belts in the clutch. One runs from the motor to the clutch, and the other uh, runs from the clutch to the brush roll. And already that is far too loose. I think the problem is the belt is just spinning itself around on the motor spindle that is far too long in fact you can see that where it's being worn away by all of the dust everywhere and also how shiny that is in there a little bit of this now this means that we need to fit either a new clutch or change the belt now I've covered belt changes quite a lot, both on this channel and on a step-by-step -step tutorial on the Manchester Vax one, but I have here an OK clutch. This was taken out of a machine that was refurbished not that long ago, and I'll be honest, if you've never changed a belt before, you're going to go onto eBay and buy a clutch, either a, a, you know, you'll probably get a used clutch, you know, a nice used example. So that's what I'm going to pretend that I've done here. So you pop the belt over the spindle first, then push the clutch in until it sits perfectly in its housing. Then, pop the clutch cover back on. And again, it should pretty much sit back exactly where it needs to sit. Find your screwdriver and do up the screws. You might have to sort of look around. Oh, that's falling off your screwdriver. That's like a magnetic screwdriver is pretty important for this job, although it is doable without. There we go. And then, oh, where's that pesky last screw gone? There it is. Put the third screw in. Then you take your brush roll housing, put the hose on first, it just pushes on, and then push this bit into the pivot, like so. This is a little bit, there we go. It's a bit worn there, this has obviously seen a fair bit of use it has, but that's fine, it'll be okay. Now, oh gosh, that's annoying. Trap your belt. There we go, pull the belt out. Right, now we need to lift the belt again or otherwise find a way of getting the brush roll underneath. Is it doable? I've, I've, I've never done it. I, hope, I imagine somebody will comment saying how they've managed to do it without the belt lifting tool. Of course, you can't see that. 
Set the belt back up, set the brush roll back under. The two little end caps sit nicely in the house, house holding place. Put the belt back down, rotate by hand just to check the tool is in order, and then have a little bit of a test fire again just to check and see if that was indeed the problem. That's all you need to do. So we'll put the base plate back on now so we can have a safer, better check because I'm always a little bit wary of running a vacuum cleaner without the base plate because there's nothing to stop the brush roll firing off or you know, moving and jamming itself which would be a bit of a pain in the bum, I'll be honest, and probably hurt like hell, you certainly smash a window if it fires into a window, so I'll do that. One last quick check to make sure you haven't jammed it up and then we'll have a bit of a longer run. Fixed, it's a little bit rackety, but you know, it's not too bad. We'll leave the clutch cover off for now. We'll always leave the clutch cover off until you thoroughly tested. Just then you haven't got to go through the pain of having to take it off again. Put it on so we can have some suction and give it a test. That is not bad, but not perfect. This hose needs a little bit of adjustment because this is what makes this bit pivot and touch the floor properly. The way to do that is obviously if you can feel it skimming, just give it a little turn, not a lot, just a little turn, and then try again. when it reliably grooms the carpet and you know you think it's okay push that back on check that it's off when it's upright and moves down to on when you recline it and that is it literally you have fixed your Dyson's suction problem you can bin that if you bought another used clutch which is our used case or you, you, you could buy brand new clutches you could buy clutches that people put belts on you could even spend a pound 20 on a pair of belts and do it yourself but you then need to strip apart the clutch and take off that circlip so you know depends on your level of competence i suppose without being rude and yeah this little dyson is done ready to go back to its owner so i hope you found this interesting Hopefully it's helped you out. Comment if you if it has. If I missed anything also, please comment. And there we go, really. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're a subscriber or you like vacuum cleaners, I shall see you soon. If you're not, then thank you for watching. Glad I could help. Bye-bye. <laughs>